All right, back with another video refuting the lying, Luciferian, charismatic blasphemer, Chris LaSala and his heresies. In uh, my other video, I showed that Chris LaSala actually denies that Jesus Christ is equal to the Father and equal to God, which is only the tip of the iceberg. I mean, in this other clip I'm going to show, he's actually denying this little charismatic blasphemer, Chris LaSala, or as I call him, Chris Satan, is actually denying that the members of the Godhead are one God. Okay, check this out. You're not going to believe this. John 14, 28, ye have heard how, now how, now, before I read this, how can one part of God have more goodness than another? How could one person within God have more knowledge than another person within God, if they are all one God? Yeah, that was pretty bad, wasn't it? So he flat out just denies the God of the Bible. He denies the God taught in scripture, because if you deny that Jesus Christ is God, I mean, that's bad enough in and of itself. But if you deny that the members of the Godhead are one, that's a big problem right there, isn't it? Here are some scriptures that refute this lying Satanist, Chris LaSala. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 6. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 6. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last, and beside me there is no God. Okay, how does this refute Chris LaSala? Well, because notice how the King of Israel, Jesus Christ, and the Lord of hosts, God the Father, are speaking with the singular pronouns, me and I, but never the, they never use us as plural pronouns. You know, why? Because they're one, plain and simple. See, they're both speaking there, but they use the terms me and I, which are singular terms to refer to themselves, collectively. Okay, but more scripture proving this matter. Uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 27 showing that the members of the Godhead are one God. And the reason why Christless Satan can't understand this is because he's lost, plain and simple. He doesn't have the Holy Spirit to guide him into all truth. It's just that plain and simple. Without the Holy Spirit, you can never understand uh, the Godhead. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 27. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, and the image of God created he him, male and female, male and female created he them. Sorry to all the transgenders out there, uh, there's only two genders, but... I want to put that in there, by the way. But notice how it says, let us make man in our image, singular. Okay, not images, plural. So you have us there, you know, you have the members of the Godhead talking, but they use the, the singular word image to refer to themselves collectively. You know, why? Because they're one. They're one God. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, further showing this. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. Says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name, a singular, a singular name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Okay, what's the, how does that refute Chris Lasala? Well, again, we see baptizing them in the, the singular name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, not names plural. Okay, they're one God. They have one name, but then there's three of them. Why? Because the Godhead are th is three and one. Okay, they are one God, and Crystal Satan is denying that. Okay, First John chapter five verse seven. First John five seven, for there are three that bear record in heaven: the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. It doesn't say these three persons are one. It says these three are one. That's the truth of the matter. Uh, Crystal Satan is uh, a lost man, plain and simple. We've shown that in the past. He's a lost man. Uh, he does not have the Holy Ghost, hence why he cannot understand this stuff, this, this kind of stuff. So. Don't be deceived by Crystal Satan or his little charismatic cult he runs out there, uh, BDS or whatever, this, this false uh, deliverance ministry where he's not actually casting devils out, he's actually imparting them, you know, and he does his live Skype sessions trying to cast out devils. Yeah, the guy's the guy a lost Luciferian, plain and simple. Don't be deceived by him or his little charismatic cult that he runs. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.